Hey everyone, Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I wanted to talk to you today about database marketing. When I talk about helping people with their marketing or jumpstarting their business or getting more clients, there's three types of marketing that I typically teach. New business marketing, where you're going out and trying to drum up some new business with people that don't know you. There's referral source marketing, where you can tap into a few referral sources that can open up a, a wide range of potential prospects that they might be talking to or could refer you to and then there's the database marketing database marketing is the type of marketing that you do once you already know somebody once they're already in one of your circles they're either on your email newsletter they you might have met them at an event maybe they're not on your newsletter but you have their contact information maybe you're in an organization with them uh, like a chamber or an association of some sort or a professional trade group or maybe a networking group You're in meetup with a couple of people or a, a bunch of people right in a bunch of different meetups Or you're in a Facebook group or something else. That's a little bit more interactive and you have a community over there Database marketing has changed since social media and the internet and all that kind of thing. It used to be just whoever was a client of yours or who said that it was okay to um, email them you would have on your email list and you would email them and occasionally you might call them you might actually send them something in the mail right and you still could send something in the mail or call people that you've met that didn't agree to get your email newsletter or your email follow-ups that's fine just don't add anybody who didn't agree to get your email newsletter or didn't sign up on your website onto an email list however okay but you can still market to them in different ways and so I call these pockets of people and uh, different circles that you might run in so however you want to talk about that uh, so your database of people that are on your email list those are the prime prime prospects right and clients because they're the ones that have raised their hand and said, yes, I want to know more about your programs, products, and services. You can email me, right? And those people are the primary people you want to keep in touch with and where we think of as our database. And that's great. And yes, you want to email them. But you want to come up with creative ways to also get their mailing addresses and their phone numbers if you can. Because you can't just rely on email marketing anymore. I swear to God. The, if I had a dollar for every email that did not go through and get to the recipient and didn't uh, just end up in their spam or trash folder, I would be a millionaire, okay, many times over by now. <laughs> being uh, in my business for 18 years and follow-up marketing being my number one strategy behind speaking and, and networking, um, I would literally be a millionaire if you know if all the emails would just go where they need to go and people would see the emails, we would be great but it doesn't work that way. So you need to start getting addresses, mailing addresses, and phone numbers. So, because you need to send stuff in the mail, you need to send brochures or business cards or flyers or uh, free books or gifts or you know attention getting whatever. So you need something in the mail to grab people's attention. And then you also need to call them sometimes. You need to say, hey, I sent you a follow-up email. Did you get it, right? Look in your spam or trash folder. So those are some things you need to do for immediate follow-up, yes, but more things to do in your database are you can do uh, client events for them. You can send them special things in the mail. I was just thinking this morning, um, an idea that I was telling some clients is right now we're in the coronavirus thing, right? We're, we're still at home and uh, where's my... Thing. I called it like a Corona care package or something like that. And you send this email to your clients and say, hey, I want to send you in the mail a, a Corona care package. And it's going to include this, 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 and this. And it's absolutely free. Just give me your mailing address. Or it's $5. You pay $5 for shipping and handling and give me your mailing address and I'm going to ship all this stuff off to you. And uh, you can include a book, you can include flyers. It's not that you want it to cover the cost of what you're sending, it's to get their mailing address, you guys. The point is to get your, their mailing address. So then you wanna send something to your database that you have mailing addresses for at least every quarter, if not more, throughout the year. I know it seems tedious, but in this, there's so much noise going on. That is really the only guaranteed way they'll see your stuff is if you stick it in their mailbox, you guys, seriously. Okay, and then you gotta pick up the phone, 
you can send month, fun holiday cards. Uh, you can do all kinds of things. You can ask if they want text messages from you, but you have to ask permission to start adding them to a text message campaign. You can do voice broadcasts. So sometimes like I have thousands of people in my database, right? And I can't physically call one by one. Now I could hire someone to do that, but I can also take all the phone numbers and stick them into a system and leave one long voicemail. Now you may or may not like that strategy, but it sure does like it, it serves a purpose, right? It's not for everybody. And I get it's not as personal as one-on-one, -on -one, but I will never make 4,000 phone calls, right? So like, it's better than nothing. Think about it that it's better than nothing. Done is better than perfect, you guys. So you could do a voice broadcast. Now, for the people that have not agreed to get your email newsletter, those are the people where we wanna get a little bit more creative. Maybe you're a part of an association or a group or a chamber or something like that. Let's think of a, an actual group that you might attend on a monthly basis, their calls or their meetings, or you at least have the directory or something like that. Those are great people to send something in the mail to as well. Hey, we're both members of the blankety blank. I'd love to connect with you to see if or how we can help each other. They're the people you'd pick up the phone with, but they're not the people that you just, you know, harvest all their email addresses and stick them into a program and send them a bunch of emails. Don't do that. That is blackballing yourself. That is not a good reputation to have doing that. So direct mail, phone, and maybe drop by or at least, or both of those things, right? Those are database marketing things. This is stuff that people don't think about. Because what if you're, the people in your organization are more likely to want to network with other people in their organization? So that's the first place I would look. The second place is if you, if you build your own uh, community on Facebook or LinkedIn, you build your own group and then there's people following you there, that's the second place you want to do it. The groups that you belong to that you're not running that might have thousands of people in them or even hundreds of people, there's things you can do on there, but you got to be careful not to be too salesy. You really can't be salesy. And the point of contacting and reaching out to people on social media is not to sell them something. It is to build relationship. It's just like going to a live networking event. If I walked into a live networking event and saw you standing there and I said, hey, Jim, hey, Sally, nice to meet you. Here's my flyer on my program. Are you going to join? You know, and then I walked away. That's what you're doing when you're promoting stuff in a private message to them. And you're saying, hey, here's my program. Or here's my upcoming webinar. Or here's my thing without even building a relationship. We want to walk into social media, which is our big networking event. And we want to say, hey, Jim, nice to meet you. What do you do? Oh, tell me more, right? Oh, that's interesting. We should call and do a follow-up call and see if or how we can help each other. And then we can see, maybe, maybe we can refer business. Maybe we can share each other's blog posts out. Maybe we can do business with one another. I don't know until we have a follow-up phone call. So yes, it's a little bit time consuming. I get it because in this day, I know you've been told over and over and over to do residual income, recurring income, uh, online trainings and online programs to leverage your time. But frankly, if you don't know what you're doing there, you need to get into phone calls with people so that you can actually make more fast cash. It's the fastest path to cash. So if you're not building those online residual things just yet, you got to keep scheduling the phone calls, you guys. You got to keep treating all your, you got to do more networking and then schedule more phone calls, really, honestly. And so that's more new business marketing, right? But if you do it in the circles that you're already in, you already have like a, a common bond with the people that are there. And that's why I'm suggesting go there first rather than running some stupid Facebook ad that will never get you any business, right? Unless you really invest a ton of money and have a huge strategy on it. Don't do that, you guys. Don't do that, please. All right. So database marketing, spend some time there, schedule those emails out, nurture, tell people what you do, get more personal with them, tell a story, tell what's going on with you, right? I just sent an email the other day about my worst vacation ever, you know, during COVID, don't go on vacation during COVID, ah, you know, nowhere to go and everybody's wearing masks and you can't even see anybody smile. It was so such an unjoyful uh, experience. It was crazy. Um, anyway, so like I got really 
you know, personal with that in my email newsletter. And you want to do that too, because that's where people like trust and connect with you more is when you're getting really uh, vulnerable and personal with them. Okay. Have a great day, you guys. Hope this was helpful. And if you want any more from me, just go to jumpstartyourmarketing.com. If you do forward slash free trainings, you'll get a whole bunch of free trainings or you can pick and choose the ones you want. If you check me out on YouTube, you'll see a whole bunch of videos like this where you can all do kinds of different topics. Uh, and if you really want to jumpstart your business or your marketing or your revenues, you really want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me. If you go to askcat.biz, A-S-K-K-A-T dot B-I-Z, then you can schedule a one-on-one, -on -one, I promise, and it's free. And why wouldn't you do that? Um, you know, you're gonna, yeah, we can talk about how I can help you, but I can't help but give you some tips and advice as well in that call. So there's no reason you shouldn't schedule unless you wanna self-sabotage your own success. So don't do that. And come and have a call with me and I will talk to you soon.